Hello and welcome back to the channel. On this episode we look at the SDR Play SDR unit. This unit was kindly sent to me by John from SDR Play here in the UK and I'm going to be using this as we go on in the uh, series of videos I'm going to do as the base station SDR unit. This SDR unit uh, is a 1 kHz to 2 gig uh, range and it's a, it has a 14 bit um, DAC inside it and it covers a 10 meg bandwidth. Um, I've been meaning to get a new a new SDR for a little while in the last video I mentioned it and um, John mentioned about uh, about testing this on the channel so I've agreed I've now got the old that's the old SDR unit going spare and I shall perhaps run some tests side by side to see how they both compare but on this one I thought we'd go through how to get the digital side of SDR uh, working on the uh, SDR Uno software if you go to the DSD plus uh, website you can download the software from there this will decode the digital stream uh, from any SDR from SDR sharp or SDR you know you know the procedure is the same so if you go to uh, to, to the website download this program put it onto I put mine in the root of the C drive there just put it into a folder and then you're just going to basically in STR Uno run this directly from the folder as an exe file so you can just drop it in there and create a shortcut to it on your desktop wherever is appropriate for you to uh, to place it there and it will just run when you double click on it Okay, now we'll put the uh, virtual audio cable uh, installed to go to the VB Audio uh, website and download that and run that and install whichever is appropriate for your operating system um, and do a couple of versions on there. Um, and once that's installed, quite an easy installation, just double click the setup file. Uh, you then need to go into the your sound settings. Um, if you haven't already got the SDR Uno software, go and get the SDR Uno software down from the SDR Play website. And there's also manuals on there as well, should you need them. And if you haven't already got uh, a unit, obviously you can purchase your unit on their website from there. So uh, it's, a, it's a nice little website, this, and it's good to support the uh, British company uh, with a, a good product such as this. I've found it to be very good. I've only been using it for about a week, but um, I have to say uh, that it's, uh, it's been very, very good. I've uh, really enjoyed using it using it so um, download the that SDR Uno software and get that set up um, go to your sound settings as I, as I mentioned here and just double check the input is your VB audio uh, your virtual cable on your input that's important that's a step a lot of people don't make and what you can also do is go into the device properties and set the uh, the settings to uh, 44 uh, kilohertz as I, I'll show here uh, it seemed to make a bit of a difference and I've, it's been recommended to me to do that to, for DSD+. Okay, if you open up the SDR Uno software, um, you'll, you, there's a couple of things you have to do. You have to take the de-esser off here, switch that off, and you set a narrow, uh, obviously it's in narrowband FM mode, and set a 15k uh, bandwidth on your, uh, on your filter. Don't, don't go too wide with that. Uh, and then the other thing you have to do is change the input there to um, uh, to your, your VB virtual audio cable input. Now you won't hear anything come out the speakers when you do this and you hit play because it's directing the sound to the DSD Plus program. Uh, you can adjust your gain if required and then when start DSD Plus and uh, you if go, go to your uh, uh, to, to a suitable DMR section of the frequency which I'll show you in the next clip. Um, the um, you can arrange obviously the uh, the windows as I'm showing here, the DSD Plus windows, to be on top as I showed in the last video. Um, and what I'm going to show you on this video is a way to automate some of this because it can be a bit time consuming and annoying, particularly if you want to flip back from digital to analog. So I'll show you a, a way of avoiding having to do that by using um, some clever macro scripting. I'll show you that a little bit later on in this video so you keep watching. Um, so we started it up there and we've got a, a signal coming through, that's a local security firm there, I won't play the, the audio. Um, so this macro software for our, our organizers stuff, um, go to the website, download, the, the, you get a free trial of this for 30 days, but I really recommend um, you purchasing this because it's a very powerful tool. And what it lets you do is to create macros for doing things. And I've done one here. I've done two, in fact, one for the digital side and one for the analog side. So if I run the, the digital one I have here, it will actually perform. I've got it to slow down so you can see it a little bit. It'll actually perform that DSD plus operation for me automatically. 
You could even run that on a schedule if you want. And I've also put the other one in to uh, select the, the audio side as well. So I've created two macros there to automate it. And you can run them on hotkeys if you want, which is quite useful. Or you can just, I'm just going to record um, a scanning macro. This one will actually allow you, yeah, the scanning feature isn't enabled in the uh, Uno software at the minute, but this will actually uh, then run as a scanning function. Um, so I can get it to, I can program it here to scan through all these channels and that'll run as an actual macro when I click and I can get it to loop it or loop it as a macro as well. So you can use the macro software to drive your SDR software. You can also do this with Ham Radio Deluxe and many other, I don't know, well, any other Windows function that you like. I actually use it for backing up um, CCTV footage as well. So it's a very, very powerful tool. There you go. And uh, you can see that running. I've sped it up a little bit. And what you can do there, you can pop this window on top and then keep that window in the bottom right of your uh, software there and then just run if you don't want to run hotkeys you can just literally click on the little links there and run them separately but um, I've got these set up so I run them on hotkeys which I find is, is a lot better so I just thought there's a little tip for you there to automate the switching between digital and analog when you're in either either SDR sharp or, or uh, SDR Uno and if we say to detail and say one or one or nine 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 we a bit of fun all received. Right, I hope you found this useful and uh, you'll join me on the next one. I've got lots of videos planned for this year, so keep tuned to the channel. And thanks ever so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.